So I have a problem. I have a problem that I'm a thousand percent sure you can help me solve. See, here's the thing. Every single game night, I struggle with one question and it's always been the same question every single time. Ever since I started playing board games, it's always been this one question because I'm usually the one teaching the game. And that question is, how do I figure out which game to play tonight? Hello everyone, welcome back to the Wolf Pack. Now for today's Wolf Pack Wednesday, we, I feel like the past two weeks have been very businessy, very worky, and full of technical information. So I wanted to distill it down today and we just throw up a vlog for today's uh, Wolf Pack Wednesday. In particular, I actually am dealing with this question right now. And that question I told you earlier is, how do you figure out which game to play on game night? And here's the thing. I think it makes it, let me add one layer to that question. And that is with the gaming group that you're playing with uh, for that game night, this is a gaming group that is down for any game. And I feel like that makes this question 10 times harder because now Yes, it's more fun because now you get to pick any game in your collection, no matter how complex it is, no matter how simple it is, whatever game it is, they're down for it. Usually when they say that though, it means like they're avoiding party games. So we're talking about the strategy games, the more, the more heavier weight games. And I feel like for tonight in particular, I am leaning towards the most difficult game in my collection and a game that I hope I can do a full review on in time like very, very soon, the near future, I wanna do a, definitely a full review on this, and that is Lisboa. <laughs> Only because of Monique and Naveen from Before You Play, and you know, they, they love this game, they've been raving about this game, I watched their playthroughs a bajillion times trying to figure out how to play this. And because they are the type of gamers that are super down and committed to learn whatever game I throw at them, I figured this would be the perfect time to play the most difficult game in my collection, Lisboa. And to be honest with you, I was actually going to play Nemesis, but then for some reason, of course, this would happen to me. I was so looking forward to this game and you saw like I unboxed Nemesis a couple weeks ago. I was going to play Nemesis, but then one of the sheets that I got, the cardboard sheets that had the pod tokens in it were like double printed. So I didn't have any pods at all, which means we couldn't play it at all. So while I'm waiting for that replacement part, I figured that Lisboa would be the next in line to play. But here's the thing, I wanna know how do you decide which games to play on game night if you're the one that's coordinating everything? Do you pick games that you haven't played yet? That way you can play test throughout like the first round with everyone. Do you pick games that are super easy and light so you can go through a ton of games at night? Do you pick the most complicated, the most complex games with a ton of meat and strategy in them so you can have just one really good quality gaming night? I don't know. There's so many ways to go about it and there's no wrong way, of course, but oftentimes when my family walks in and I'm just like staring at my board game collection like this, it's not a surprise to them because I'm honestly just trying to figure out which game to play. I'm like, I don't know. So I am pretty committed to Lisboa tonight. I feel like I've already spent enough time learning Lisboa and watching enough playthroughs on it that I really want to commit to that one because I also want to cover the game too. And that's the thing too, it's like with this gaming group, like everyone that I play games with, they know that I do this for work too. So I'm using them secretly to uh, for work and for play. And they don't mind, obviously. But like I can go so many different directions. Like I'm in a really big Scythe mood right now. I cannot stop playing Scythe. I downloaded the app ages ago and I'm finally revisiting it again. I am super into Scythe right now. And that's one game that I also want to play. But we, it's very, very unlikely that we're going to have time for both Lisboa and Scythe. So that's why it's so hard. It's like, how do you pick just one? Especially when you only have one gaming night, you have a few hours. How do you pick just one? I don't know. You know what? I'm just gonna tell you like the games from at least this section that I wanna play right now for tonight. I wanna play Scythe. I want to play Dog Park. There's nothing hiding behind here. There's just uh, a storage place for my table toppers. I wanna play Dog Park. Frost Haven would be amazing, but they're already committed to Gloom Haven. So probably not gonna start that one. Oh my God, Merchant School would be so good. I think they would enjoy this game a lot, especially with the async async nature of this. I'd also be super down to play Ankh. We haven't even touched a ton of the gods yet. And the fusion power, especially with a four player game night, we can definitely play with the fusions. But then I'm also really into Blood Rage right now too. Okay, so what I think I've decided on is that I'm probably gonna reset this up on the surface and put Lisboa on the top. That way, when we finish Lisboa, we can potentially have one more game out underneath it and just take the leaves off. And the game underneath will be, if I wanted to go on the safe side and feel like this would take a little too long, then I feel like Dog Park would be a really good 
segue to finish up the night too. We definitely can only fit probably two games at max. Because they come on over at 5 p.m. They're probably leaving around like 9 or 10. So we have like four to five hours to play with. So I'm going to say Lisboa on top. And then on the bottom, Dog Park or Blood Rage. Do you see what I mean? I am so indecisive. And I want to know if any of you relate to this too. If you are organizing a game night, how do you end up deciding which games to play? And what factors go into your decision making? Oh, also, this is another important factor to consider too. Do you consider the mechanic to be a big factor in your decisions too? Because then if your gaming group only likes area control, do you stick to only area control? Or do you only play like resource management games? Do you only play pick up and deliver games? Or do you have variety? Like for this one, I think Lisboa is a, like a resource management game, right? So then I like to have variety and I feel like the next one afterwards usually would be worker placement or area control. Wolves would be also a really good option too underneath this, underneath Lisboa. I'm so lost. Let's celebrate the little wins and agree that a win here is that we have decided on Lisboa for the top game tonight. The bottom game will be decided in time, so we'll see. But anyways, thank you all so much for joining me on this random vlog. Um, I just had a bunch of ideas that I wanted to swing by you. But yeah, let me know how you all structure your game nights. I am super interested in finding out how you all organize your thoughts, your ideas, your overall plan. That way I can get more organized and structured too for my game nights going forward. Thank you all so much for watching, and I will see you all in the next one. Bye.